Aaron Higgins, Brock Mays, sharing that front row, will set the pace. Again, top five, go to the A main. 10 laps the distance. Aaron Higgins on the pole. He'll set the pace. Brock Mays alongside. Second row, Randy Hanick and Dustin Daggett. It's all going to change as we get ready to go. Green flag racing. Higgins jumps out to the right away speed up to the top side. Off turn two down the back stretch into the lead. Brock Mays is second. Randy Hanick in his third. Remember, five will transfer. to him. Dustin Daggett, Daggett to the high side, trying to make sure he gets one of those qualifying spots. Out front, it's Aaron Higgins showing the way. Drivers fighting the guns, fighting the sun. Randy Hanick in the second, we've got trouble. It turns three and four, yellow flag will be displayed. It's Darren Clayton losing the handle in the middle of turns three and four. That will slow the pace down. Randy Hanigan in the runner up spot. Field coming off turn number four, green flag waves. Higgins with the lead. Hanick in his second, Brock Mays back up to third. That'll put the 2M of Daggett back into the fourth position. Look at this battle for the 50 final qualifying spot. It's now going to be the 7K of Rob Cheney up to fourth. That'll put Daggett on the bubble in that number five spot. Clayton still having his problems in turn four. Higgins is your leader. And it is second. Mays is third. Then it's Cheney and the two M of Daggett. Your top five and 23 are Ben Raton. Bringing out the caution flag once again. The problems happening up in that third and fourth turn. Two laps now complete. Higgins started directly behind Higgins. He falls in that, in that position as we speak in the number two spot. Field off turn number four, green flag waves. Once again, leaves the field down for a slow restart. We'll go right to the top of the track. Here comes Brock Mays. Mays looks to the inside of Hannigan. Cannot get the job done. Does not complete the pass. No change among the top five. Three wide, come off turn four. And Kane, out of shape. We'll gather it back in. But he spun just in front of three cars that were side by side. Everybody's doing a great job keeping things going in the right direction. Higgins is your leader. And it's the second main third. Then it's the seventh king of Cheney. And the 2M of Daggett. Hunter up in the number six spot. He's followed by the six of Bill Rose in seventh. Then it's the 10 of David Harrison. No change up front, but Daggett trying to close in on the rear bumper of Cheney. They go through turns one and two. Hunter one spot out of qualifying in that number six position. Higgins is your leader. And Higgins second. Hayes is third. And it's Cheney. And Clayton loses the handle to avoid the spinning six. We've got cars stacked up here in turn four on the outside of the fourth turn. Cars getting stacked up and appeared as though the six of Bill Rose lost the handle, spun the car around. Darren Clayton just really had nowhere to go. He, he spun his car to avoid contact. And then the 60C of Corey Crabtree, as well as the 28. We apparently no damage to Crabtree's machine. Higgins again sets a pace. Again, a slow pace for the restart. Green flag waves. Turn one. They're three wide momentarily. We've got cars bottled up. And now we got the uh, 10 of David Harrison trying to work his way into the top five. Higgins, Hannigan, battling for the number one spot. Brock Mays in the number three spot. Daggett way high in turn, off turn two. He'll close into the seven, the seven K of Rob Cheney. Cheney trying to hold him to the full spot. Daggett trying to take it away. And it's one spot out of qualifying, but here comes Tim Hunter back. And we've got problems in turn four once again. It is the 78 of Todd Kane. Daggett holding on to the final qualifying spot. 
five. Go to the A main. Rest of the drivers, go to the nine quarter point races. Replay. Hennigan again to the inside. Momentarily grabs the lead. But it's Higgins on the outside. He takes the number one spot. A change among the top five, but we may have a change now. Harrison goes to the inside. Harrison trying to get in the fifth. Can't complete the pass. Higgins, your leader. And once again, the six of Bill Rose having problems. And Darren Clayton apparently not seeing the yellow lights come on. Did make contact with the 2H of Tim Hunter. Doesn't appear to be any damage to either of those cars. In the number seven spot for the restart. Speaking of restart, it's going to happen right now. Two out for me. Higgins, your leader, Hankin, Hankin to the inside, cannot complete the pass. Here comes Brock Page. Field off turn four, yellow flag. Craig Keel headed in the wrong direction in turn two. Number one, Higgins, your leader. Hannick in second. Green flag waves. Hannick in again. Looks to the inside. Here comes Brock Mays. He'll look to the inside of Hannick. Neither driver able to complete the pass. Watch that battle for fifth. It's going to be the ten of David Harrison going to the inside of Daggett. Harrison, Daggett, battling side by side. Mays on the inside of Hannick. Can't complete the pass. Daggett way high in turn two. He'll regain the number five spot. Harrison momentarily held on to the position. Checker flag for Aaron Higgins. Randy Hannigan, Rock May, trouble here on the front straightaway at the checkered flag. A hotly contested battle for that fifth and final transfer spot. The results are Dustin Daggett making hard contact with the outside retaining wall, flipping his car violently down the front straightaway. Good news. Dustin Daggett out of the car under his own power and A-OK, -okay, a wild ride. Again, Dustin Daggett Severely damaging his car. That's the bad news. The good news, Dustin Daggett does get that number five qualifying spot. If they can make the repairs, Dustin Daggett in the A main. Again, it was Aaron Higgins picking up the win. Congratulations going out to Aaron. Randy Hannick and holding on to the number two spot. Brock Mays coming home in the third spot. Fourth, the 7K of Rob Cheney. And again, the 2M, Dustin Daggett does indeed qualify, pick, qualify rather, picking up at fifth and final transfer position. All right, Button Danny Smith gonna pace up off of turn four at the chalk line, but sure went down there laying down the chalk line. That's where they're supposed to get on the gas. Here we go, side by side, running down, closing the green. Ryan Button down to the bottom, Danny Smith goes up to the top shelf, side by side for the lead out of turn two. Danny Smith with the advantage, down the back stretch, keep an eye on the 83 of Tim Schaefer on the move. Schaefer started back in that fifth position, he's up to fourth looking for the third spot. Look at the battle up front though, Ryan Button, Danny Smith still side by side for the lead. Cale Connolly in third, Tim Schaefer fourth, Brandon Martin fifth, but here comes Byron Reed with a slide job in one. Brandon Martin returns the favor, cuts it off in turn two. That's the battle for the final transfer spot. Look out in the 89 car. In turn number three, David Gravel loops it out, and that will bring out the caution flag. Danny Smith with over 20 feature wins last season throughout the Buckeye State. 
and into Illinois and Indiana. Green back out. Keep an eye on that battle for the final transfer spot. There goes Byron Reed to the inside of Brandon Martin. Martin gets a good advantage. Moving up the third is Tim Schaefer. Danny Smith continues the lead. Ryan Button in second. The battle is for third. Tim Schaefer and Gail Conley. Schaefer on the bottom looking smooth. Championship with the O'Reilly All Stars last season. Row three, side by side, Lee Jacobs, Greg Wilson. Wilson looked like he may have a win coming in the very first event of the year in Ocala, Florida. We'll tell you that story later. We're going to play racing. In the turn number one. Pat no one on the inside, but it looks like Brian Smith will have the advantage coming off turn number two. Here comes Dale Blaney. He'll look to the inside of Tatno. Blaney looking for the second spot. He'll get it. Tatno third. Frank Wilson is fourth. Then it's the sixth with Jody Keegan rounding out the top five. 59 of Lee Jacobs in the sixth position. Only five will qualify. Jacobs looks to the inside. He'll try to pick up the spot. Blaney trying to close the gap between himself and the race leader, Brian Smith. Blaney doing so. He'll erase the advantage of Smith building up. And here comes the 60 of Jody Keegan. He'll move up into the fourth position. Greg Wilson, third. Tatno out of the top five as Lee Jacobs moves into that fifth and final transfer spot. Jacobs may not be finished. We've got a battle for the lead. Side by side in turn three. Now off turn four. It's going to be Dale Blaney taking over the number one spot. Brian Smith, they're not giving up. Here comes Jacobs. He's up to number four spot. But we have yellow on the speedway. Caution coming out. The 7M of Jeff Dodge bringing out the caution flag to the inside of the cone or make contact with the cone or they will be penalized. Dale Blaney sets a pace. Green flag waves. Ryan Smith is second. Greg Wilson goes to the inside of Smith. Wilson trying to take over the runner up spot. Trying to get it done again in turn three. Wilson on the inside. Still trying to take away that battle right spot from Brian Smith. Brooke Tatno trying to work his way back into the top five. So far, they're unable to do it. Cap Henry working his way up through. Henry up into the sixth spot. Here comes Tatno back to the outside. We've got a four-car battle for the number five spot. Cap Henry goes to the inside of Jody Keegan. Here comes Brooke Tatno on the outside. Three wide down the back stretch into turn three. Is it going to work? Looks like it will. Who's going to come out with that number five spot? Brooke 
Top five moving into the night's A main Chad Kimenaw will come home fifth in the 6K. Fourth, 
to Casey Kane. In car number nine, you won third to Ed Lynch Jr. in the 2L. Second to Cole Duncan in the 53. Put your hands together, the winner of your Tin Lizzie Collision Heat Race number four on the Wasso, Oklahoma, Darren Pittman. Mechanical problems on the 45 of Lay and uh, his night over a bit early. 10 laps, two to go to the to the rear of the beaming. Leaders off turn four, green flag. Travis Filo on the outside of turn number two, grabs the early lead sleep. Ryan Sabino in the number two spot. Sabino goes to the inside, he'll challenge the lead. David Harrison in third, Harrison in trouble. David Harrison was in that third spot, lost a handle going into turn number one, collected another car, both those cars upside down, a couple other drivers slotting to a stop to avoid contact. Drivers are all okay, that's the good news. Three J of Kevin Lee along with the 10 of David Harrison. Four, the 60C of Corey Crabtree, the 91 of Aaron Middle, green flag in the air. Again, top two go to the B main right now. It's Brian Sabino and Travis Flyla. Holding on to those number two Number one and number two spots, but here comes the X of Martin Keegan. Keegan is trying to make it a little bit of a little bit of a Keegan goes to the inside, unable to complete the pass, so he'll fall back into the third position, down the back stretch into turn three. Sabino, so you know your leader, Keegan now does complete the pass. Keegan, Keegan up to the runner up spot. Gonna put Travis Filo back into the number three position. 23R. Ben Rutan in, your, in the number four spot. Bob Felby in the fifth position. Then it's the 60C of Corey Crabtree. Two drivers will qualify. The rest of the drivers will load their cars up and watch the event from the pit area. Right now, it appears to be Brian Sabino and Mark Keegan. Sabino and Keegan continue. Run one, two. Travis Filo. That number three spot, not really getting any rail on the front two cars. No change of position. In the top five, Bob Felby continues to round out the top five positions. Now Mark Keegan is leading on the Brian Sabino car. Keegan again working the inside group. And again looks to the inside. Sabino on the outside has the advantage, but he does not appear to be able to hold off the challenges of Mark Keegan. Keegan falls back in line. Keegan again dives to the inside, trying to find a way around. Two distinct and different racing groups here tonight at a Raceway Park. Ryan Sabino has the lead, or does he? Mark Keegan trying to take it away and will do so as the white flag is displayed. Final lap, Mark Keegan, your leader. Keegan with the lead, Sabino now in second. They'll come off turn number four, looking for the checker flag, they'll get it, and that's the way they will finish. up the win in the C main. He will join Ryan Sabito in the tail end of the B main. But what it does is give these drivers an opportunity to earn valuable points, which will be tallied throughout the entire racing season. It also gives them an opportunity to get a 
la one last look at the speedway before the A main. Green flag lane. Frank Wilson on the outside. They took with a race sweep. Ron Chaney is second. Lee Jacobs third. Here comes Hanneken. Randy Hanneken moves up into the number four spot. Tim Schaefer, Danny Smith, running fifth and sixth. Wilson with a comfortable advantage over Cheney. They come off turn number four. Lee Jacobs, Randy Hanneken running third and fourth. Tim Schaefer looks like he's uh, looking for a groove. He's moving around the trace track. Here comes Danny Smith to the inside of Schaefer. Wilson, your leader. Cheney second. Lee Jacobs and Randy Hanneken battling for the number three spot. Jacobs had it. Looks like Hanneken will take it away. Indeed, Randy Hanneken puts the 1X car up into the third position. Greg Wilson continues to show the way. Wilson, nice and smooth around turn 22 down the back stretch. Rob Cheney, second spot, white flag. Final lap again, Wilson, nice and smooth. Two turns, one and two. Driver's getting an outstanding opportunity to get a last look at the racetrack before the A-B. Greg Wilson wins it. So it's Greg Wilson picking up the win. Rob Cheney coming home in the number two spot. Then it's the 1X for Randy Hannigan, followed by the 59 of Lee Jacobs, the 4 of Danny Smith, and the 83 of Tim Schaefer. Wing sponsored machine. He probably likes the setup in his car. Brian? Fans come out in full force tonight. Man, All Stars putting on a great show. How about this race car? What do you think for the feature? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, we've been real close here the first two races, and. Uh, as long as we keep plugging and running up front, uh, that's all you can ask for. Uh, I want to thank all you fans, every single one of you, for coming out and bearing this cold weather. And uh, I guarantee you one thing, I'm going to try like a son of a gun to hurry up and get this thing over with. <laughs> I bet Greg Wilson's going to get to the front as soon as he can. Greg, good luck tonight. I want to wish my mom a happy birthday and uh, everyone a happy Easter, too. Very good, exactly. We'll, we'll certainly share those thoughts. Happy Easter to everyone. Greg Wilson gets an opportunity again to uh, put some final adjustments in that car as he gets ready to go for the A-Main here tonight. Top four go to the A-Main. Rest of the drivers go back to the pit area, load their cars up. Zablocki loses the handle in turn number four. The rest of the drivers doing an outstanding job setting the pace. Keep your eyes on the 11 M and Mark and have a car working very well on the high side. Field off turn four, green flag. Hunter gets a good jump that time at the drop of the green, but here comes Martin charging on the outside. Can't get it done. The 09, Craig Mintz, coming to the high side, yellow flag. Caution once again. <laughs> 93 is Sheldon Hottenshield having handling issues with his car, losing the handle in Tim Hunter, Brandon Martin, Jody Keegan, Craig Mintz. Green flag waves. This time, Martin looks to the inside, can't get it done there. Hunter is your race leader. Hunter with the advantage of the back stretch into turn three. Martin is second. Then it's the 09 of Mint going into the third spot. Here comes Mint, the second, the 60 of Jody Keegan. Early in that fourth and final transfer spot, but he's getting plenty of pressure from the 312. Linder goes into the number four spot. 
car battle for the fourth and final transfer spot. Three twelve. Here comes Tadno. Look, Tadno goes to the high side. Tadno made some adjustments on that car for sure. He'll move up into the number four position. Tadno moves up with the track, moves up with the scoreboard as well. Tadno the fourth. Mike Linder back to fifth. Linder battling with the sixth. It's the 09 of Craig Pitts, and it's 200 for Brandon Martin, Brooke Tatnell. Point two, three, and four. Mike Linder goes to the number five spot. We've got a challenge for the number 10 spot. Tim Hunter had the second spot. And Hunter, out of shape. Brandon Martin takes over the number two position. Brooke Tatnell is third. That now puts a 3 12 of Mike Linder in that fourth and final qualifying spot. But here comes the sixth and Jody Keegan. Keegan back to the fourth position. Keegan on the outside. Trying to hold on that number four spot. Venture leader in the 09. It's Martin second. Tatnell third. The 60 of Keegan fourth. A chance to talk to Craig earlier tonight, and uh, looks like we're going to get a chance to talk again. Nice run. Craig, first of all, nice job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we just try to keep it straight, and uh, we'll get better for the future. I tell you what, it looked like the top side starting to really come in for some of you guys. Uh, the momentum's up there. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to run a bottom and pass race cars. I mean, this place is been known for its momentum and if everybody that rolls the top is just going to keep the momentum up and uh, it's going to be tough catching who's ever on the front row just because, you know, they're going to get out and hide and it's going to be fun. Well, I tell you, I guess the guys in the pit area have been very busy tonight. This track's changing quite a bit, quite drastic changes. You guys have to be thrashing around back there to get the right setups. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of movement back there. Um, there's, you know, the guys that have predicted it and then, you know, the guys that have been here before, you know, we can see this, that it's going to happen. Um, you know, the guys, the outsiders that, you know, come here, they don't see this very often. Um, but, you know, it's one of the things that uh, there's a lot of great teams back there, and they'll adjust, and uh, we'll go into the feature and uh, put on a good show. Craig, good luck tonight in the feature event. Thank you. Craig Mintz, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand as he will uh, get his time back. And, of course, we're going to take an opportunity right now to determine our first six drivers, the starting lineup. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Are you out here to help with the youngsters? <laughs> All right, where's our, who's, where's our, coming around turn four, fans up in that area, stand up and cheer, we can't even hear you, come on, that's it, down the front stretch, let's hear it, for these race teams, race car drivers, the crew members, the sponsors, a lot of hard work going into tonight's racing action, great big thank you to the track crew, thanks to the entire staff. Here at Attica Raceway Park, we're about ready to get down to business. 40 laps the distance. Rob Cheney, Tim Schaefer, sharing that front row. Who's going to lead the field into turn number one? 
Who's gonna go to victory lane? We're gonna find out. Pace trucks exiting the speedway. Rob Cheney, Tim Schaefer will set the pace. Greg Wilson, Chad Kemenal, Casey Kane, Lee Jacobs, a star-studded lineup. Coming off turn four, green flag wave. Schaefer on the outside does it. He grabbed an early lane lead off turn two. Down the back straight away. Schaefer the leader. Here comes Greg Wilson to the inside. Wilson looking for second place. He'll grab it coming off turn four. Jr. out of Apollo, Pennsylvania. Once again, Pace Trucks exit the speedway. Tim Schaefer, your leader. On the last restart, Greg Wilson went to the inside in turns one and two, trying to take the lead away. Didn't get it done. Green flag. Racetrack continuing to change its characteristics. Drivers going to have to adjust their driving style throughout this Schaefer, your leader, Wilson, second. Kevin Owens challenges the number three spot. Rob Cheney has it. Ted Kevin Owens trying to take it away. Lee Jacobs is on his side. Off turn two. He'll take the spot away from Casey Kane. Jacobs up into the top five. 
Bob Cheney. Cheney thought he wasn't in spot. A close call for Greg Wilson. Chad Kemenos took the nose in there. Wilson had the back end of the car hanging out. Kemeno was right there. And now Schaefer is indeed in that race traffic that we were talking about. Schaefer trying to work his way into the, the back markers as Greg Wilson trying to hold off Chad Kemeno. Lee Jacobs with a good run. The number four spot waiting into the top five with some smoke out of the George Fisher number two. Is it under the hood? Is it the tires? Looks like it's coming off the left rear tire of the O'Blaney's car. O'Blaney doing a great job though. Starting 14th and working his way up into the number five position in the sixth spot. It's a 7B or 7K of Rob Cheney. Then it's the Byron Reed car. Talk about Brandon Martin and the 53 of Paul Duncan. Brock Bain's now running out the top 10. Race traffic an issue for Schaefer. Here comes Wilson. The distance between first and second. Not much distance between second and third. Here comes Kevin all again. Kevin all right there. Wilson closing the gap between himself and the race leader Tim Schaefer. Ray Jacobs also coming up and making a, a four car battle maybe for the number one spot at the halfway mark and right behind Jacobs the two of Dale Blaney. Blaney won that gas hard in the George Fisher number two machine. Rob Cheney goes into six. Byron Reed is seven. Byron Reed was seven. He'll lose that spot. Here, a three-car battle. Three wide racing action for the number seven spot. Dale Blaney goes to the outside of Lee Jacobs. He'll pick up the spot. Chad Kimenoff losing some ground now to Greg Wilson. Greg Wilson no gaining for the race leader Tim Schaefer. Schaefer in heavy, heavy race traffic. Schaefer to the outside. Wilson to the inside. They go around the sector of Ryan Bunton. Wilson now having some problems getting from Whitney to pass one Bunton while he struggles with that position. Here comes the two of Whitney. Whitney to the inside of Chad Kimenoff. A couple of laps ago, Kimenoff was challenging for the number two spot. Right now, he slips back to fourth. And here comes Lee Jacobs. Schaefer, your leader. Wilson is second. Whitney third. Jacobs is fifth. Then it's Cheney going into sixth spot. Duncan seventh. Wimmer right there in the number eight spot. Fifteen laps remaining. Schaefer, your leader. Wilson can see. Schaefer, you can see the lead. He wrote. Schaefer unable to get around the race traffic as well as Greg Wilson has been the last couple of laps. Wilson soon going to have his hands full though with a fast closing. Neil Blaney. Blaney still working the mid side or the top side of the track. Wilson trying to find a line. Not much distance between first, second, and third. It's a three-car battle for the race lead. Schaefer with about a two-car length advantage over Wilson. Wilson has no advantage over Blaney. Blaney to the top side in turn three. He'll try to take away the number two spot. I think of Again for the race lead. Brady switches lines. He goes to the inside. Takes over second. What a slider by Dale Brady. Greg Wilson trying to retake the number two spot. Can't get it done. Shake for your leader, but for how long? Brady looking very stout here that night. Ten laps remain. Schaefer is your leader right there. Blaney right there. Wilson, Chad coming on Lee Jacobs. It's getting close. Off turn two. First and second were side by side. Blaney to the inside of Schaefer. Schaefer maintains the lead. Schaefer saw the deal Blaney car. He picks up the pace. Schaefer up in the wheel now. Really working the race traffic. What a slider by Blaney! Dale Blaney, pulling a slider on some of the race traffic to stand within striking distance of Tim Schaefer. Schaefer continues with the lead. Ray Wilson watching that battle. Wilson not out of this by any means. Wilson goes to the inside. He cannot close up on the rear bumper of Dale Blaney, but Blaney can get the job done. Blaney now within a car length or so of Tim Schaefer and Blaney. Behind the 60. Dan Schaefer 
has led each and every lap in very, very close. Matter of fact, for a split second, Lady had the front end of the two car in front of the 83 and Schaefer. Five to go. Tim Schaefer, Neil Brady, Craig Wilson, 51. From Aaron Higgins, with a lap car, Chad Kevin on the bench, goes in the number four spot. Lee Jacobs is fifth. That is the 53 of Colt Duncan, sixth. Four to go. Well, you're a race leader. A bit of open track now for Tim Schaefer. Is that maybe the advantage he was looking for? We're going to find out if Neil Blaney has anything left in the number two car. Right now it's a tall motor sports. Number 83 is Schaefer, your leader. The George Fisher, number two of Neil Blaney. In the number two slot. Schaefer already a feature winner. Blaney, the defending all-star champion. Those two drivers going to battle it out right down to the wire. Two laps remain. Here comes Blaney on the tire tracks of Schaefer's they have to turn number two. Schaefer gets a good run down the back straight away. Here comes Blaney, Blaney to the inside. Neil Blaney takes over the race lead with the white flag waving. Tim Schaefer trying to return the favor. Blaney out of shape. Schaefer can't do anything though. Blaney gathers it back in. Schaefer second, Wilson third. Coming around, turn number four. Checker flag for Dale Blaney. Tim Schaefer second, Greg Wilson third, Chad Kevin on fourth, Lee Jacobs rounds out the top five. here at Attica Raceway Park, and you had to wait till the white flag. You like to make these drama things, don't you? Uh, I'd rather not, but, uh, you know, we didn't get a yellows there. My car got really, really good in the middle of that race, and then uh, it started spotting just a little bit of rubber, a little bit, but uh, we just caught Tim at the, at the wrong time. He caught traffic back up at the wrong time, and uh, I had one shot at him, and I knew he got to, uh, there was a lap car there in front of him, and I just threw it over in front of him, and I, I thought, sure, I'd see him back underneath me, but... Uh, I kind of protected that lane a little bit, but uh, car was awesome. I mean, George Fisher and the guys do an unbelievable job on this car, and uh, didn't make my job easy tonight, but I, I kind of made my job a little harder by a bad qualifying lap, but uh, it was good. Boy, the lap traffic, you had some really close calls in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple. I think I got into uh, Jody a little bit and maybe Higgins, a 51 car, and, you know, at, at that point, uh, it was no mercy. So, I mean, I was coming, and uh, they were even going to lift, but uh, – the car was really, really good, and I, I felt like I could put it in any spot I wanted to. And uh, if you have a car that good, you can put it in a, a couple of places where it shouldn't go. Too bad we didn't have two nights of this, huh? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, I love this place. Uh, when the track gets like this, gets wide, uh, usually, the best, usually at the end of 40 laps, the best car will win. And uh, I felt uh, like we had the best car. When you start 14th like that, what goes through you to be careful, I imagine, the first couple laps? Well, I, I struggled the first five. Uh, I wasn't very good on top, wasn't very good through the middle. And then uh, I wasn't that good on the bottom. But once the tire heated up a little bit, you know, most of the time this thing is really, really good the last 20. And I figure if I didn't uh, lose a lot of ground, you know, the first uh, five or ten, if, if I could actually make a little bit of ground up, I figured we'd be, we'd be okay. But everybody started hugging the bottom a little bit. And uh, I really started rolling the top and got by a few guys there and just uh, got a little momentum. All right, there he is, your feature winner on HD Supply Night. Let him hear it. Damn, Blaney! Got slower and slower, so I figured it'd get me a lot sooner than that. So, uh, you know, it's one of them deals. We uh, did the best we can. Got a great car, got a great team. Got a long year to go yet. Boy, when he got underneath of you down here in turns three and four, you had when you cleared the traffic, you probably thought, okay, I'm all right now. No, definitely not. Uh, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Car just kept getting a little looser, huh? Yeah, I just had to keep waiting on it. I couldn't go to the bottom, and so I just tried to make momentum up there. And, you know, I was looking for that white and checkered flag long before it had come out. <laughs> All right, Tim Schaefer comes home second. Down the back straightaway. Kane, the first driver going against the clock here tonight. Off turn four. Kane to the gas on a green flag. Clock is ticking. Todd Kane having issues with the front wing on his car 
That's not going to make the car handle the way it came once on two heads for sure. Next car on the speedway out of Vienna, West Virginia, the 3C of Kale Conley. 13 2 0 1. 13 2 0 1. The time for Ty Kane. Conley sponsored by Hell's Bridge Imaging Conley Energy Company. Six three one two point five six three for Kale Conley. Next car on the speedway. The Eleven of Brandon Martin. Ran out. Addy. Martin excavating in trouble. Turns electric. The elite machine out of the raceway. Ramsey Trucking sponsoring the machine. Brandon Martin so far with quick touch. Now it's Greg Wilson coming out onto the speed rank. Wilson driving the W20. Greg Wilson out of Benton Bridge, Ohio. Greg Wilson, a former All-Star champion. Matter of fact, with two championships under his belt. The All-Star pumping and heating. Don Slater excavating. Mac and Bob's garage. W20 stops the clock with a time of 12.347. Second quick, Brandon Martin still with the fast time. Now on the speedway in the 2H machine, it's Tim Hunter out of Hillersburg, Ohio. Throw in that Drew Baker digital dish. RJ is the book on the later signs. Number 2H Hunter on getting the green flag high in turn one and two. Very close to the Top of the speedway. He'll come around turn four again. A bit wide off turn four. He'll stop the clock with a time of 12.109. Quick time for Tim Hunter. Next car on the speedway out of Faustoria, Ohio. The number 23, it's Jamie Miller. Leah's Automotive Services. Preston Power Stretch into turn number three. Miller a little out of shape coming off turn four. That certainly will affect his run against the clock. Miller comes in with a time of 13.168. Now in the speedway. in Ohio at car 51. It's Aaron Higgins. Boy, your funeral home. Bill Mason, Roy acquisition and Higgins way out of shape. That will certainly reflect on the clock. 13.001. Not a bad run for Aaron Higgins. Next car on the speedway from Monclova, Ohio. Car number five. It's Byron Reed. Byron Reed, the defending three-time track champion here at Attica Raceway. Shots, Black Swamp Media Group, Well Wheels, Hoosier Tire, Showfield Headers, Rebar Die Casting, sponsoring the Byron Reed number five machine. Reed stops the clock with a time of 12.654. 12.654. So far. It's the Chad coming off 6K car. Coming on of Finley, Ohio, getting the green flag. Tim Hogan's Georgia Dalton Carpet sponsoring the Kevin All entry. Chad Kevin All off turn number four. He'll get the checkered flag and come in with a time. 12.530. Now out of Utah, Washington, in car number 91. It's the Budweiser machine of Casey Kane. KC 
Casey, of course, taking time off for the uh, a break in the NASCAR series. Coming out here to Attica Raceway Park. Enjoying some dirt track racing here tonight. Casey was lucky to be here last night as well. Of course, the weatherman took care of that situation. The Budweiser number 91 of Casey Kane comes in with the time. One, two, point, four, three, one. Fourth quickest for Casey Kane. the time for Cole Duncan. Now out of West Jefferson, Ohio in the George Fisher Racing, Ultra Shield, Bell Helmets, Hitchman, Fisher Performance 60C, it's Corey Crabtree. Crabtree coming off turn four, he'll get the green flag. A lot of wind here in the last uh, all day long, as a matter of fact. Certainly uh, making it a challenge for the track crew. Likewise, gonna be a challenge for the drivers here tonight. Ryan just mentioned the fact that when they go down the back stretch, they're headed right into the win. 14.489 the time for Corey Crabtree. These big wings on the top of the spring are certainly affected by the win. Now coming on to the speedway and the Kistler Race products. Sheets, motors, AC, P1, Keith the Vectric, Outer Layer, Number Zero, Four, it's Cap Henry. Everyone to gas off turn four. Nice run around turns one and I should say off turn two. Nice turn. Nice run off round one and two. Out to the and Cap Henry will clock in with a time of 13.277. 13.277. Tim Hunter still the driver with the quick time. Now on the speedway out of Dalton, Ohio. This time the crane and tractors are on. Rick Tardobot, classic turning. Number 59, it's Lee Jacobs. Jacobs off turn four for the green flag. Lee Jacobs, certainly no stranger. Paddock Raceway Park. He'll take his car to turn three, standing on the gas, coming around turn four. The clock will stop for the time of 1-2.526. Fifth quick, fifth quick for Lee Jacobs with 15 cars now going against the clock. Next car out on the speedway. Out of Apollo, Pennsylvania, or correction, out of Portland, Michigan, it's the 2M of Dustin Daggett. Daggett sponsored by Brewster's Fine Foods, Torco Race Fuels, Richardson Farms, Warren, and Adam Owen Custom Home. Coming off turn four, getting the checkered flag. 12.545, the time for Dustin Daggett. Now on the speedway out of Gibsonburg, Ohio. In the Erie Shore Propane, KS Sales and Service, Wobby Construction, Real Geese, Thrift Engine number 09, it's Craig Mintz. Mintz a little out of shape, coming off turn four. He'll gather it back in up on the edge. It turns one and two, Craig Mintz continues to flirt with the top side of the track. One lap into the record books for Craig Mintz. He'll be credited with a time of 12.680. 12.680 for Craig Mintz. 
out of Worcester, Ohio. The last name very familiar, the first name is one you, you will recognize in the very near future. In car number 93, it's Sheldon Hoddenshield. Boyer Trail Bologna, Eldon Racing, Patterson Farm, sponsoring 93. Hoddenshield, of course, following in his father's footsteps. Bringing the car off turn number four with a time of 13. 13.380. Now in the speedway out of Alquipa, Pennsylvania, Nicole Motorsports, number 83, Tim Schaefer. Gets for a range in South Point Hotel and Casino, Pro Shops, Rain Tech Industry. Sponsoring 83 is Schaefer. Fresh off a win here at Attica Raceway in Park last night. Schaefer comes in with a time of 12.507. That'll put Schaefer into the top five. Schaefer also picked up the initial win of the 2009 season for the O'Reilly All-Star Circuit of Champions in Ocala, Florida. Now in a speedway from Fremont, Ohio. In the Grussman Power Sports Tier Speed Shop, top flight kennels number 60, it's Jody Keegan. Jody Keegan in car number 60. Keegan off turn four, he'll stop the clock with a time of 12.604. 12.604. Now in a speed. Out of Genoa, Ohio, in car number 45, it's Brian Lay. Brian Lay, putting the tires off turn four in the Seagate Plastic Metal Pro, Jeff's Barry Grill, Dave Story Equipment, John's fourth season, Wood Country Collision, RJ Display, sponsor number 45. The flag is out. Lay stops the clock with a time of 13.7. Three, two. Now to two plus out of Fremont, Ohio, it's Brian Smith. Sponsoring the two plus of Smith Alliance of Construction Professionals, Rustin Power Sports, Get Electric, Trail Zen, CJ Gilbert, TNT Graphics. Smith on for he'll stop the clock with a time of 12.859. Out of Sykeston, Missouri, cover 92, Darren Clayton. Clayton vying for the Rookie of the Year honors with the O'Reilly All-Star Circuit of Champions. First time ever at Attica Raceway Park with a wing on top of the car. Clayton coming around turns three and four. Darren struggled a bit in Florida to kick off the season, but they are uh, excited about racing with the All-Stars throughout the 2009 season. 13.327, 13.327, the time for Darren Clayton. Now from Chillicothe, Ohio, in car number 40, it's Mark Imler. Imler in the number 40 machine. Sponsored by Precision Machine and Manufacturing, Steve Durst Garage. Inward takes the car through turns one and two, staying away from the top of the track. As you can tell, the, uh, there's no guardrail around the turns of the speedway, so there's no damage to the car when they do go off the track. Mark Inward comes in with a time of 13.794. Now from Plainfield, Indiana, ending number six, headed down the back street away, it's Bill Rose. Bill will be our 25th driver going against the clock. Tim Hunter still the driver with quick time. A lot of good cars though. Still coming out of the pit area. Bill Rose will stop the clock. And 13. 0.065, 13.065. Ohio. In the 
Millport Thunder winner, Jack Hewitt challenge at Attica Car, the 7K of Rob Cheney. Cheney on the gas with that Millport powered machine. Rob Cheney in 1994, Buckeye Speedway Cheney. Lone Star Pawn Shop and AAA supporting the Rob Cheney effort. 12.498. That'll put Cheney into the top five. And now out of oh, Tiffin, Ohio, in the 9C, the Wings of Larky. Zablocki, a rookie in 410 Wing Sprint Car Competition. Zablocki Construction, Burns Electric, Jeff Heyman Excavating, ML Advertising, High Ridge Lawn Care sponsoring the 9Z of Zablocki. Wayne comes in with a time of 13.104. 13.104 for Zablocki. Okay, looks like things are squared away in the pit area at the scale and on the speedway out of Fremont, Ohio. In the 312, it is Mike Linder. Linder Racing, the owner of that number 312 car. Kissler Engines, Linder Speed Equipment, Vision Quest, Pro Shocks, and we're drinking Scott Lawn Care, sponsoring the machine of Mike Linder. And Linder comes in with a time of 12.936. Now on the speedway, being pushed off out of Chillicothe, Ohio, the number four of Danny Smith. Tiger Signs and Graphics, JD Performance, Peer Speed Shop, Mag Tech also sponsoring the four of Smith. Danny Smith finishing second in the All Star points in 2007. Off turn four. Smith, 12.701, the time for Danny Smith. Now on the speedway, entering turn number one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're defending three-time Rally All-Star champion out of Hartford, Ohio. It's the number two of Dale Blaney. Blaney in the George Fisher number two. On the gas, got the back stretch into turn three. Off turn four, checkered flag. Wayne stops the time clock with the time of 12.667. Now another number two, it's the 2F of Ed Lynch Jr. Lynch out of Apollo, Pennsylvania. Lynch has been racing for 25 years. Very successful with championships in Sharon, Honorville, and Tri-City Speedways. Ed Lynch coming off turn number four. He'll see the check inside and stop the clock with a time. Of 13.411. 13.411. Now in the Speedway from Sandusky, Ohio, in the 15C, it's Chris Andrews. Andrews, not only familiar with Attica Race Lane Mark, already has a win to his credit this season as he picked up the opening night win in the K&N Filters, Lucas Oil, Goofy Golf, Blue Chip Machine and Tool, Active Sanitation, number 15C. Tonight, he'll stop the clock with a time of 13.133. 133, the time for Andrews. Now on the speedway out of Fairmont, Indiana, in the Shorty's Truck Repair, Smith's Farms, Griff's Engines, Zia's Development here, Speed Shop, Goodyear Tires, Zero. It is Brandon Wimmer. Rick Ferkel, the car owner, the familiar Zero of Ferkel, now with Brandon Wimmer behind the controls. And Brandon. We'll come in with a time of 13.289, 13.289. Next car on the speedway, the 56R of Ryan Myers. Ryan out of Somerville, Ohio. He was the 2008 All-Star Rookie of the Year. Ryan having some issues coming off turn four, but he does take the green flag. In the Gensman Enterprises, level 
Oh, yeah, correction. In heat, Wayne Garrett, number 56 are Craft Racing cars. Especially that in heat. Checker flag wings. Ryan comes home with a time of 13.465. Next car out of the speedway from Bucyrus, Ohio. And the JNF Construction, Mansfield Smith, Kid Brothers Heating and Cool. Hertz Country, here's Speed Shop number 11B. It's Brock May. May is getting a bit close to the edge of the track and turns one and two. Good looking. Number 11B coming off turn four. Get the flag lanes. The clock stops with a time of 12.695. Good time for Brock Mays. Now in the speedway. In the 89G, the DVR Motorsports machine of David Gravel. Watertown, Connecticut, the hometown for David Gravel. Gravel hoping to be uh, on the uh, Rally All-Star Circuit of Champions Tour for 2009, challenging for the championship. Check play for Gravel. 13.266, 13.266. Now out of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Indiana. In the one end, it's Randy Hanton. It's a Gary Hanton racing machine for Randy. Pocketshot.net, BMRS, Kenny's Capone, Dirty Engine, sponsoring the entry for Randy Hannigan, 12.617, a good run. Fans, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, Hannigan seems to have moved the wing location of his car prior to going onto the track. Next out, on the speedway, out of Green Springs, Ohio, it's the Cricket, Craig Keel in this PX. Bobby and Kelly Sears, the car owner of the UPS store, Pumps Landscaping and Garden Center, Maxim Race Cars. Don Spieldetter, Bobby's Truck and Auto Repair, TJ Heat and Story, sponsoring the machine. Craig Keel, with a the time of 13.462. 13.462. Now on the speedway all the way from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. It's the 21 AU of Brooke Tatnell. Tyson Garage and Carport sponsoring the machine. Tatnell won the game. It's off turn two. Down the back stretch into the third turn. Brooke Tatnell will stop the clock with a time. 13.026. 13. Point zero two six. Another drive around in Chillicothe, Ohio on the speedway. It's the 22D of Josh Davis. Davis in the dairy farm carryout. Dove Company wall coatings. Flannery Construction. J&K Machine Shop. Sponsored Machine gets the green flag. Twelve cars remaining after Josh Davis gets the checkered flag, which he does right now. And Davis comes in with a time of 13.633, 13.633. Next on the speedway, from Ragoon, Ohio, car number 10, David Harrison. Crown Battery, Fort Ball Pizza, Hot Shots Powder Coating, Daryl Hanson Trucking, Care Speed Shop, Arm Technology, Flag City Machine, Bell Air Cleaners, a host of sponsors on that machine. Harrison coming through turns, three and four. On the gas, across the start and finish line. Clock stops at 13.602, 13.602. Bruce Robin Oak, car number 98. Fans, you can hear the engine not performing the way Robin Oak was certainly hoping, and that uh, lack of power obviously affects the way the car is working, and uh, Bruce having some issues. Coming off turn four, is getting a bit out of shape, off turn two as well. And Bruce Robinall, 
out of Tiffin, Ohio, in the Steinies 3 Oaks Pistol Graphic. Just Ruthie, Schultz Welding, Hearst Jaws of Life, E Systems, Bob Evans Restaurant having some problems here. He comes in with a time of 15.278. We have Brian Sabido in car number 16 out of Clyde, Ohio, on the speedway. Stephen Mason School, R&R Auto Recce, Gary's Barbershop, Sheets Motorsports. The Sheet, Sabido working his way into the th third turn area. 25 career wins for Brian Sabido. Shatner Flag, Brian will stop the clock with a time of 13.552. 13.5. 5-2 for Sabido. Now in the speedway from Jerome, Michigan. It's car number 23, Ben Rutan. Sponsored by Goodyear Tires, Dean Ford Walls, Mike Ball Racing, BR Buildings. Rutan coming off the turn four, he'll get the green flag. Sounds like Rutan also may have some engine issues. Things not quite right under the hood. Of the number 23, Rutan off turn four. He'll stop the clock with a time of 13.694. 13.694. Now from Middle, Ohio. Oh, I'm sorry, out of here. Correction. Out of Polk, Ohio, it's Aaron Middle in car number 91. The LNL Motors, you were excavating. Here's Speed Shop, Grussman Power Sports sponsored car. Middle coming around turn number four. He'll get the checkered flag. Lighting up the tires coming off that fourth turn. 14.782. 14.782. Winding down. Right now it's Travis Philo and Philo, the second car here in qualifying to go out over the first turn area. Travis out of Waterville, Ohio. Here in qualifying. Travis Philo off turn four. Does indeed get the green flag. Not quite as high in their turn 22 this time. Travis keeps it down a bit. Keeps it on the track. He'll come around turn number four looking for the checker flag to complete his qualifying effort. Coming in at a time of 13.595, 13.595. Now for Bowling Green, Ohio, in car number 27, it is Scott Euler. Euler in a specialty welding and fabrication free line fence. Sponsor number 27 gets the green flag. One lap against the clock. Euler trying to get as much out of his car as he can. Again, the way they run their qualifying, and you were a bit out of shape coming off turn four. That will cost him. That's a shame. He had a good lap going. He comes in with a time of 13.397. 13.397. Now from Owasso, Oklahoma, in the Peach Bridge Street Motors, Wintermeyer Auto Salvage. Every transmission, number 25, it's Darren Pittman. Darren Pittman coming into tonight's racing action second in the O'Reilly All-Star point chase. And Stevie Smith, your point leader, not here. So Darren Pittman could lead tonight as the point leader. 13.047 a time for Pittman. Jeff Dodge in the 7M car out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Dodge coming around turns, three and four fans. You can see the track changing as we get through the qualifying order. Restart. Restart communications, Rockstar Paint sponsoring the Jeff Dodge entry tonight. Dodge just smoking the tires coming off turn four. Down to the checkered flag, 14.810, 14.810. The time for Jeff Dodge. Now on the speedway from Fremont, Ohio. In the X, it's Mark Keegan. Keegan, the all-time winningest driver here at Attic Raceway Park with some 55 victory lane appearances. Keegan on the edge, on the dance. Off turn two, down the back 
backstretch. Keegan switching lines, trying to make up some time. Here is the track again, changing as we get through the qualifying order. Mark Keegan comes in with a 13.666, the time for the episode of Mark Keegan. Now from Green Springs, Ohio, it's 3J Kevin Lee. JD Automotive, Humbert Trucking, Papa Jimmy's Pizza, Ace Archery Shop, Dave Construction, Lincoln Wheel of Ivan, Sponsored Machine. This is Kevin's first year in 410 Sprint Car Competition, doing a nice job. Coming around to turn three and four, he will stop the clock with a time. 13.653, 13.653. And now our final driver in qualifying here tonight, out of Franklin, Pennsylvania, in the world of wheels, Kawasaki number 6F, it's Bob Felmley. Felmley gets the green flag. Had a chance to talk with Bob earlier tonight. He was not happy with the pick he got. He knew he was going to, he was going to be going out last as the drivers drew for position. For qualifying, Felmley off turn four. Gets the checkered flag. The time of 13.787. 13.787. Race fans, that does conclude our time trial uh, competition here tonight.